final day of 2018 iCast. I'm here with Norman Lee. Norman is one of our regional staffers and a really good one at that, but he also owns Heartland Outdoors, new store in Seabring, the heart of giant fish and big, big lakes, big fish, big small lakes, big fish. But anyway, he's going to go over today a unique presentation that we never envisioned the Big Nasty, Bruiser Big Nasty, our new bait, being even remote. I didn't, I didn't, I don't think it was designed or idea for this, but go ahead, Norm, take it from there. Because he's already, he went out the first day, he had the bait, kind of like a seven pounder, so go ahead, Norm. All right, everybody, how you doing? Thanks, Dave. Well, we're at the Bruiser Bait Best Edition Gear Flat on Texas booth here at ICAST 2018. Um, talk to you a little bit about the Big Nasty. This is a 14.25 inch ribbon tail. Um, the neat thing about this bait is there's a lot of different ways you can bring this bait and throw it. But I'm going to tell you a little bit about my favorite way to throw this bait. It's Carolina rigging, deep water structure. Uh, whether it be tree piles, ledges, uh, whatever you want to throw deep water, any kind of ledge this works on. Um, I'm going to tell you a little bit about how I rig this bait. Um, first of all, it is kind of a makeshift makeshift Carolina rig. We had to kind of use what we had to, to rig the bait, but I can give you an idea of how it's actually rigged. What I do is your line coming off your rod tip, you're going to run, I typically run a three-quarter ounce, uh, three-quarter ounce flat out tungsten weight. Okay, now depending on how windy it is, if you're bucking, having to buck a lot of stronger wind, you might want to go up to a one ounce a little bit heavier or something to get it down, uh, depending on what your wind is. What I'll do after that three quarter ounce tungsten is I'll run a flat out barrel, barrel weight. I think the barrel weight was originally designed by um, Bass Addiction uh, flat out as a lightweight Carolina rig weight, but it works great as you were. Typically, most people that tie a Carolina rig are going to use a glass bead. The problem you have with glass bead when you're running a tungsten weight on the front of it is tungsten will crack glass. Tungsten material will crack a glass weight or a glass bead. Um, but the other thing that does is one of the things that Carolina rig does is it creates sound. It's one of the ways Carolina rig works that deep. A lot of times that deep, the fish don't go as much by sight, but they go by sound and vibration. So tungsten against tungsten is a lot better present, a lot better sound to the fish down below than a uh, glass bead against a weight. Um, then you're going to follow that up by your swivel. Um, again, makeshift. I'm just trying to show everybody how it how it actually uh, is rigged. But you have your swivel next, following following the the barrel weight. Uh, then I'll take uh, uh, your card. Typically, now I do things a little bit different on the fluorocarbon. I'll run about a six and a half to seven foot leader. Your typical leader that you're going to see most anglers fishing is going to be 18, 20 inch leader. I actually throw a, this on a seven foot fluorocarbon leader. Okay, it gets the bait further away from the weight. Um, I don't know if it's a benefit, it, it, it works for me. That, that's all we're going to say about the 7 foot leader. I see like the, it improves my bite using a longer leader versus a shorter. Um, then you got your, your hook. I like to use a 5-aught offset, offset shank wide gap. Um, a lot of people ask me, well, a big long worm like this, why don't you use a lot bigger hook? A 6, 7 off hook reason being is you don't need that. It gives it more weight, but typically when a fish hits it, whether it's an eight pound bass or whether it's a two pound bass, normally when a fish hits a, a worm, they're always going to hit it 99.9% of the time from the head of the bait. So the first thing that's going in the mouth is the hook. And one step the whole bait's in. So um, you don't need anything larger. And again, you know, it, uh, it adds weight to the hook, weight to the bait, the bigger the hook to the use. But other than that, that's it right there. That is the Big Nasty Carolina Red. Um, get out and try it. Um, believe me, it does work. Uh, thank you all again. Um, again, we're at the Bruiser Bass Addiction Flat Out Touch and Move here at 2018 ICAST. If you're at ICAST, come check us out.